hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Chiluze Chibike and um, I'm a civil engineer and today I'll be teaching you guys how to create a window or door on your wall load using portal structure um, if you want your design to be economical and practical you have to learn how to create a window and door on your wall load um, before we get into the matter of the day I'd love for you to like comment and also share this video with colleagues that you feel might have interest in structural engineering as this will serve as a means of encouraging me to post more videos so let's get into the matter of the day now if you're giving a structure and there's a window and there's a door opening and you're asked to create that opening in that partition so what do you do about it now already we have a wall load on this beam you can see it in the 3d version there's already a wall load on this area so what we need to do is to highlight the beam by left clicking and then right clicking to get this option we go to edit wall load then we go to edit opening now you can see this area that is drawn here it shows you the area of the wall load and this dimension 2500 millimeter shows shows you the height of the wall load also the dimension below which is 4775 millimeter shows you the width of the wall load so if we want to add and a window let's say a window we click on add you can see a shape that looks like a window has popped up so now you can adjust the properties of this window using this particular area now for the width of the window uh, maybe I want to make my window to be 1200 millimeters so I click on I actually change this figure to 1200 millimeter and I click on enter you can see the window has increased maybe i want to change the height of this window also to 1200 i click on 1200 millimeter and i click on enter you can see the height has increased uh, maybe i want to reduce the window downward i can change it by maybe i want to bring it downward by 50 millimeter i click on this area and i type 700 millimeter you can see the window has been brought down now if i want to create a door i can go to add again you can see a second shape has, that looks like a window has been created since a door starts from the floor level so we have to change this y to zero and then we hit on enter you can see the second shape that looks like a box is downward now we might also want to increase the height to let's say um 2100 millimeter so we're increasing the height to 2100 millimeter we click on enter you can see we have a height and a shape that looks like a door so what if this door is towards the left hand side let's say it starts let's say 300 meter after the starting point of our wall load so we have to change this um, our x value to 300 millimeter so you can see we change it to 300 millimeter and we move you can see we have something that looks like a door and a window now it's always advisable to ensure that the top level of your door and your window is the same so I might use let me try 1800 first to see you see it's downward it still doesn't give you that uniformity so I'll change it again I'll try again to 1900 millimeter and click on enter now they are the same level this I did was just actually trying to teach you guys most time in the architectural drawing or every 
dimension has been highlighted so you just input those dimension highlighted to create out these windows and this door so we click on ok and we click on ok again you can see from our 3d that these doors and window has been created let me move it so that to show you a proper representation you can see that we now have a window and a door so this particular creation we did right now actually ensures that we spend less amount of money it also ensure that our design and our modeling is actually very practical so thank you so much for watching uh, once again ask that you like you comment and you share my videos as this will serve as a means of encouraging me to put more amazing content thank you and god bless you